If you're suffering from chronic fatigue, muscle aches, pain, cramping, you are not alone. The incidence of myalgia is on the rise, and I'm going to break down the reason behind this. Hello, my name is Dr. Nathan Bryan, nitric oxide biochemist and physiology. Myalgia, or the word as the name implies, is muscle pain. And the reports of myalgia have increased, especially since the introduction of cholesterol-lowering medications, what we call statins. And it's known now that statins are mitochondrial toxic, and so they affect, they inhibit the body's ability to make cellular energy. When you do that, your muscles start to cramp. And the reason it's doing that is because it's depleting a critical cofactor called coenzyme Q10. And now you've seen the commercials. People on cholesterol-lowering medications are actually recommended that they take coenzyme Q10. But again, that doesn't really address the root cause of the problem. And because nerve cells have a cholesterol or what we call a myelin sheath that allows for the insulation for the nerve conductance, what the science tells us that if you have chronically low cholesterol below 200, you start to demyelinate the sheath. So now we're affecting nerve conductance. We're getting peripheral neuropathy, getting the myalgia, the muscle cramps, the chronic fatigue. And it's due to two, two reasons. Mitochondrial toxic, toxicity due to the statin drugs themselves and the demyelination, demyelination of the neurons. And so these drugs are very dangerous in terms of long-term outcomes. And what we're finding is that heart disease is not caused by cholesterol. So lowering cholesterol is really providing no benefit to the inpatient. And if there's no benefit, and what are the risks? Well, myalgia, mitochondrial toxicity, decreased energy production within the cell, peripheral neuropathy. We need to start reassessing the use of cholesterol-lowering medication. And I think it's time that if you're on a cholesterol-lowering medication, talk to your physician, talk about the risk benefits of this. Again, cholesterol does not cause heart disease. Lowering your cholesterol will not affect or prevent you from getting a heart attack, stroke, or developing cardiovascular disease. What it is doing, it's giving you myalgia. It's giving you muscle cramps, muscle aches, chronic fatigue, peripheral neuropathy. So again, have these conversations with your physician. The, the incidence of myalgia, muscle, cam- muscle aches, muscle cramps, fibromyalgia are on the rise. And it could be that the medications you're taking are the reason. So you may ask your question, why are physicians still prescribing cholesterol-lowering medication when there's no benefit for primary, secondary, or tertiary prevention? Their rationale is to lower LDL cholesterol, also to lower total cholesterol, but specifically LDL cholesterol, because it's thought to be an inflammatory molecule. But of course, if you're inflamed, LDL is going to increase. It's an acute phase inflammatory marker. And so suppressing that would be like blaming the fire trucks on the fire. Fire trucks always show up at the fire, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they caused the fire. And that's the rationale and the conversation that we need to change for cardiologists, primary care physicians who are still prescribing cholesterol-lowering medications to lower LDL, to lower cholesterol, when it has no bearing on the outcome of cardiovascular disease.